Ooh, this this is a strong start. I forgot it started like this. Oh my gosh. Did Nancy just drive up to this though? Like she's sitting in her car. Did she just drive up? She's like, oh wow, looks like a tornado in the distance, and kept driving? Is that what she did? Cause Nancy, honey, that's that's kind of dumb. Am I gonna find a clue here? That's a weird piece of debris. That's that's a clue, Nancy. That's not debris. That's a clue. Wow, it's filled with money. That's Nancy's money now. Nancy, you don't have to do this job now. You got all this money. You just found it on someone's doorstep. She literally tripped over a big pile of money. You can go home. You don't have to risk breaking your leg anymore. Let's go. Once again, amazing job. Thanks. Payment enclosed. Yeah, thanks. I do. I do do an amazing job. That's right. I better take this and see who it belongs it to. It belongs to you, Nancy! Finders, keepers, losers, weepers. Ever heard of it? Okay, let's go. I can actually leave! Goodbye! <laughs> My money now! Where's the, where's the exit? How do I get back home to River Heights? Where's... Where, where do I... How do I leave? Oh god, this is... Oh no, the roads are blocked! I think we're trapped. In, in the twilight zone, and I can't leave the area which this farm exists in. I have to solve the mystery first, and then I'll be allowed to leave. The wind shear readings are strong enough that there may be a possible tornado forming to the north. Yeah, I fucking saw it! It was right on your lawn, you idiot! Please take the tornado quiz on the computer in the cellar. Don't worry, we don't care how you score, oh thank god. Can I watch TV? Previously on, are you a detective? I am. I no, I don't need to watch that. I know I am. <laughs> I'm Nancy True, bitch. Heard of me? I take it your paw. The lightning. That's me. <laughs> That's everybody in a hundred miles knows me as pa. That was that such a long like pause. That it's a long name? pause. You, well, I know all sorts of stuff about you. I have no cell phone number, Miss Nancy Drew. Let's see, it's five two three five 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 four three nine nine. I have a I stalker. Have a police. Someone on the Canute team told you I was coming. <laughs> how does he? How does he have my cell phone number memorized? But you have it memorized. Most people would write it on like a post-it note or put it in their phone contacts. You memorized it? Old drinks. I don't think I want your old drinks. How long have those been in there? Let's take that tornado quiz, which I don't actually have to do well on, which is amazing. It's the one time in life I've been encouraged to fail. Okay, the weather service will issue what type of alert when a tornado has been spotted? A tornado watch, a tornado alert, a tornado warning, or a tornado arrival. What? Who cares? Who ca Why is that? Why is this something I need to know? Like, if I got any of these, I'd be like, okay, there's a tornado in the area. Why does it matter what it's called and why I know what it's called? A tornado watch. How about that? Incorrect. Tornado alert. Okay. <laughs> is it a tornado warning? Correct. I don't need to read that. I think it's the F scale. The... I, do, I don't want to do that. I don't want to do it! <laughs> oh, it's the Fujita scale, right? I literally just saw that. I, I was I was gonna make a, a naughty joke, but um, I was actually correct. <laughs> Are you impressed with my restraint? Not, you know, taking the low-hanging fruit. <laughs> They're saying it's the fuck scale. <laughs> In preparation for an emergency, every family should have a tornado plan in place, and this item- A PARTY KIT! What? Disaster kit? I mean, you could call it anything! Like, this is- this is a stupid quiz! Like, it doesn't matter what you call it. You could say what's in the kit, like, important things that in the kit that, like, you could say every important kind of disaster kit should have what item. Yeah. Ugh! Ugh! This is a bad quiz! Which of the following is not indicative of a possible tornado? A hook echo on Doppler radar. I'm gonna say that just because I have absolutely no idea what that means. A uh, any of those words. I don't even know what the word ah uh, means. I've never- I've never heard that word before in my life. Oh, what? It's not a hook echo on Doppler radar? <laughs> Unbelievable! A downburst. 
Yes. What is a downburst? I want to know now. Different type of weather event. All of its winds flow out. That- oh. All of what's winds? All of a downburst winds? This doesn't tell me what a downburst is. This quiz is bad. <laughs> Congratulations! You're really bad at this quiz. <laughs> Looks like you know nothing about tornadoes. Congratulations! I can't call Ned a game without Ned. I'm so happy. We won't have to be bothered by Ned at all. So good. Actually, I changed my mind. I like this game. <gasps> mice. I agreed to tornadoes, but I did not sign up for mice. What is wrong? Nancy's like, oh, I'm not scared of a giant tornado uh, that literally broke a man's leg, but I'm scared of a little mouse. Nancy, I expect better of you. Sorry, I'm just- what it- what's going on with his beard? Hmm, okay, okay. Why, he keeps checking his watch, that's so fucking rude. Thanks to the lousy equipment that uncle of yours stuck us with, we just spent the last hour chasing down a bunch of cumulonimbi barely capable of spawning a spring shower, let alone a tornado. It was on your back Wait lawn, bitch. Did you see a tornado? Yeah, I did. Yeah, I fuck well, did. That's right. Yeah. First day on the job. And it's all Krollmeister's fault for saddling us with a bunch of bush league junk. But now that you're This guy's here, really deflecting the blame. Change. He's not he's not taking any of it himself. He's like, well, it's all the my bad equipment. <laughs> you know what they you say, like a a I gotta give a bad tornado preparedness. Woodsman blames so his equipment? What's the phrase? If anything's missing, a poor workman blames his equipment. Well, Scott is that. Scott is that. A, a bad Scott blames his equipment. There you go, I can say that. Wow! He's so messy. This is disgusting. Bitch, you live like this. So here's where we find out that the Ma in Ma and Pa's general store is dead. She is deceased. How did she die? Um, oh, it was a storm, of course. Of course it was a storm. And Nancy's still more scared of mice. She's like, I, this, like a storm has literally killed a woman in this area. Um, but mice? No. Bad. Horrible. I hate mice. I don't want to see them. I'm scared. They freak me out. Mice are th so threatening to me. That tornado you just saw. What'd you think? I- you just what told me mean? to leave! Were you excited? Terrified? Did it make you want to- No, the home? mouse I saw made what? me want to go home. Actually, that tornado was the, the mouse was the worst. I, I think I'm thinking of leaving. You didn't tell me you had mice. <laughs> no. Anyway, good news is it looks like weather conditions for the next two weeks are going to be ideal for tornado genesis. Tornado genesis. Holy shit, what a great word. That enthusiasm to good use. I sure hope wow, so. Wow, I'm so glad that I could possibly die in a storm and that the likelihood is really increased for the next two weeks of my dying in a storm. I'm so, so happy to hear that. <laughs> Sounds like you've been having a lot of equipment problems. Let's just say... That Scott is extremely good at mystery. I have noticed that actually. He doesn't want to take any blame. Really Scott's fault. But hey, I could be wrong. Which, by the way, is something you'll never hear him say. Anyway. Anyway. Oh, the shade, Debbie. <laughs> oh. For the rest of today, Just got darker in here because of all the shade done. you're throwing. Pretty much everything he says in there. Imagine you're her interactive for a moment and you're designing your new Nancy Drew game and you're like, what would be a fun puzzle for 10, 12 year olds and up? What would be something they'd really enjoy doing? Oh, I know. Filing. And like in what world? Who why would they think a filing puzzle is a great way to like not only include in their game, but to start off their game? Like one of the very first things they're asked to do is do some filing. Like wow, that really gets me excited for this thrilling game about tornado chasing. Filing some papers. Ugh. Why why is this your filing system? Why? <laughs> Why? If you're so specific about it, just do it yourself. It would take her like five minutes to do this. But she, she, she wants Nancy to do it to this very strict set of specifications that make no sense. It's going to take like half an hour. There's a puzzle like this in um, 
The Haunting of Castle Malloy, but it's about characters' names. You're making like a seating chart, and that's just so much easier because you've got kind of like a basis of reference. You're like, you know people's names, and it also like, it sorts them by like gender as well and tells you gender. These are just random symbols. I have no like nothing to base this on no context for this they're just like random shapes it's so much harder to work out in my mind like this wait okay no i think i need to do this i think this needs to be like that because this okay oh my god my brain is like working so hard right now like there's practically steam coming out of my ears okay so we got this something is that wait we just know they're immediately next to okay to the right okay okay wait i know it i've got it it's that right All right got it <gasps> I'm Frosty. Wow, his parents. I they were so passionate about Wendy's that they named their child after a uh, Wendy's ice cream product. Wow. That's a cool backstory. Is there a story behind Well, we know it already, Frosty? Nancy. Sure, his parents yeah. loved Wendy's. Years ago, before I met his parents Scott loved Wendy's. His parents <laughs> loved Wendy's. Stop! Stop! Ruining outside. my head I cannon. Out, I, this is this is not as interesting as your parents just having a big passion for Wendy's. I don't care. This is a really long story as well. All I want to think about is Wendy's. 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 I'm not listening. I'm not absorbing this. You are Wendy's frosty to me from now like on intrusive questions from nancy time i was just wondering where's the ma part of ma and pa's ma oh she's around you know running errands and such she'll be in later really because i heard that she's fucking dead that's what i heard whoever just came in give me a hand over here would you no uh, please sure. god i've got so many chores already save me a lot of time because I'm not a fucking never mechanic. An LED display before. Just get inside and I'll tell you what's what. No. Okay. Nancy, you need to learn how to say no. The nerve of this man. I don't even know his name at this point. He's like, get in the car. <laughs> Do my chore. Do they call you Chase because you, you know, chase tornadoes? Do they call you Nancy because you Nancy too many questions? Sorry, that was supposed to be funny. A lot of people think that, but the truth is, it's my name. It has been since before the day I was born. <laughs> because you Nancy too many questions. <laughs> I know, it's so dumb, it's funny. Like, he's like, oh, sorry, that was supposed to be funny. And it was funny, Chase. It was funny because of how stupid it was. Took a class from Scott last semester. Next thing I know, I'm almost team. Wait, 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 wait. Right now, he took a class with Scott. Scott is a university professor. Is this man supposed to be like university age or is he like a mature student? Because I'm getting the vibes that he's 40 year old and divorced. I don't believe he's a university student. Not like at least like a, a university student who's just gone into university out of high school. I don't, I do not believe that. I'm not reading that. Why is everything in this game such a thick piece of text to read? Like, they can't have anything that's, like, this long. Like, everything has to be, like, novel length. It's gotta take you at least ten minutes to read. Like, they had some law when they were making this game. Wait, he's just got them sitting on the counter? I could just take some. Can I not just take some? They're just sitting here. I could just put the whole jar in my pocket. What's stopping me from doing that? Nancy's morals. That's what. Oh, look, cows! I want to get out and look at the cows! Can I get out here and look at the cows? <laughs> what? Where are the cows? I can see the field, but not the cows. Why would I want to just get out and look at grass? I wanted to get out and look at cows. Stupid game. If y'all had to pick one of these candies to eat, what would it be? We've got udder pops cream filled <laughs> lollipops have y'all ever wanted to suck on an udder just to totally suckle that udder well here's your opportunity if you want to simulate the experience of a cow 
feeding from its mother. This is the candy for you. That's an option. We've got your classic Coco Kringle just to move on from that. Um, milk chocolate crunchies, now with 79.5% less fat, which you might argue makes it bad. It probably doesn't taste very, very good. It probably tastes pretty bland, actually. I don't approve of that. Lavash, it's very cow. I think they need to workshop that, um, motto. Coffee candy, three chocolate mugs per box, sophisticated coffee treats. Um, I can't actually see a flaw in this one, except it appears that cows make it. Um, why is so much of the candy cow-themed? What is going on? Every single candy we've looked at so far is themed around cows. Wish I was chewing cud smackers, chocolatey chewy nougat treats, sounds pretty good, moon chunk, out of this world, cheesy snack, that sounds pretty good actually, one disc per box, and it's got, it's not, it's not cow themed, it's got a little mouse in a space suit, that's pretty cute. An another cow themed one, a licky loo lollipop, auntie's acorns, okay squirrel, Wha they're all themed around animals though. Cow a bubble, another cow themed one, bodacious berry bubble gum, it's bodacious. I don't think that's the word I'd want describing my bubble gum, I gotta be honest. Raging infernos, fiery cinnamon balls, at last, one not themed around an animal except a human animal. These are basically like those cinnamon hearts, right? Disgusting. That would be the last one I choose. I'd rather have the other pops than this. Oh my god, Cowamel. This one has a sexy pinup lady cow on it. Creamy caramel and rich milk chocolate together at last. Chewy discs. Okay, now I now I got to decide which one I'd most want. Honestly, I'm not super tempted by any of these. I think maybe the moon chunk seems like the safest option. <laughs> I can't believe they didn't say utterly delicious on here anywhere. Like, that's a crime. They just didn't take the opportunity. It was right there, staring them in the face with its big udders. And they didn't do it. Look, he's whittling. Because that's what you do in a town where an orange light means slow down instead of speed up. If you know what I'm referencing with that... You get a thumbs up from me. What can I do for you, little lady? Where's Ma? Still not here? <laughs> nope. Uh, she, uh, she had to drive over to Chickasha. Sister's Lumbago's acting up. Anything Lumbago? Where's your dead wife? Where's your dead wife, Pa? I love that we can relentlessly ask this. Nancy has read an article that says Ma is dead. But we've asked him this twice after reading the article. Like, it's like, hey, you over your delusion that your dead wife is still alive yet? Let me just remind you of your dead wife. 